Hi guys, um, my name's Matt, welcome to my channel. Um, got a little project going on. Um, got some of these little soldiers which are the British and Inter-Allied Commandos. So, we've got them prepped, ready to go, primered with some Vallejo Grey Primer. Um, it's a nice primer. Uh, you don't have to fin it. It's already to go for airbrushing. Um, and that's about it. So, the colours that we're going to be using today are English Uniform, German Beige, Camo Beige, I think it's called, or Command, I'm not sure. Anyway, uh, some Russian Uniform. Some khaki, some green grey, and the dreaded black. If you don't want to use black, then you can use a very dark grey. Um, if you know me, I don't like black or using black because it kills colour. But um, yeah, there. I'll put that one back up there. So what I'm going to do first is take our English uniform and dispense a good sized portion on there like that because we need to do 30 of these miniatures and we're going to thin this down a little bit because it is very thick for what we're painting. Um, I'm helping somebody at the moment paint and he's saying about his miniatures and I said you've got your paint too thick. So, so just a little bit. Is it good enough? I think I'm going to put more. Like that. And uh, then start and go over absolutely everything. You can get this colour in a aerosol, but I do not have that colour on me. So, right, so I'm going to speed this up a bit, maybe do a time lapse and get back to you in a little while. Okay, we're on the same stage, but um, with second coat. Um, gone through the whole lot, and I've left it to dry. But it needs. Uh, kind of, it's, it's a bit thin, so I'm just gonna basically go over the top again. Just like. Okay. Just not over everything. Just highlight it because we're going to put a wash over this um, eventually. But I just want to get a better coverage on the uniform before we carry on. Okay, like that. Right, I'll leave these to dry 
for about half an hour or so. And we get on to do the, the tiny areas. Hi, how are you doing? Uh, back to this. We've been, we are currently painting. Um, some backpacks. Um, if I can get to it and show you. So we are using this lovely colour, which is uh, a Russian green. And we're just blocking it at the moment. Um, that's about it. Like that. And we'll do this container the same. And I've gone through the <clears throat> the manual. And this is the manual. And backpacks AP Army Green. Well, this is the greenest colour I've got for from Vallejo. And the Excuse me, I am concentrating. Um, yeah, so that is the greenest thing we've got. We're going to highlight this afterwards. Um, it's either this colour or olive drab. And I don't think olive drab is good enough. It's a bit too dark. So that's that. Um, so we've got 30 of these backpacks to do. And I'm going to crack on. Mm. Okay, so I'm going to start painting the uh, backpacks. And Vallejo, not Vallejo, um, Bolt Action people, who are they? Warlord Games. Um, they kindly put a colour chart on the back. Um, English uniform, German, camo beige. Um, but when you go to Vallejo's German camo beige, is that one? Hey, I've lost one. Um, it looks nothing like it at all. It's more like a camo green, which is disturbing. And green grey looks nothing like it at all. So. And I'll show you this right here. Okay. Now, that is Russian uniform. That is green grey. That is German camo beige. That there is olive drab. And the Backpacks on here are got a bit of green on it. Backpacks on them. On there, got a lot of green on. So, I could be going with this one for the backpacks. A little bit muted. Um, I don't know what to do. Right, um, yeah, I think I'll do this one and then we'll highlight it and then we'll shade it. I think so. Right, okay, so let's go in with this one. And I haven't got my glasses on. And there we go. So, across there, like that. And I am now trying to paint this. There you go. Let's 
get some. Well, come on, focus. There. Focus. There you go. That looks okay. It's green. It looks green. I'm gonna highlight it and put a wash over it. And that's that. Right, let's move back up here. <sighs> you have to give, forgive me if we keep going off. Just trying to get in any everywhere. A little bit watered down, which is good. Across there, like that. And you can't see. That. Come on, stupid thing. There. Right, stop. Don't move. Okay. And it's showing the water bottles are also that color. With this container here. That kind of so I'm going to do this and I'm going to come back. Okay, now we're working on the um, webbing and other lighter areas uh, before we dry brush. So um, I've got some deck tan. No. Not take down. I've got some khaki. 988 khaki. Okay, we have a bit of water and a pointy brush. So I want to get into areas like down here across the boot, there is an area that needs to be. And there that needs to be, because there's a boot covering on there. Okay, and a bit of strapping on the backpack. Too much paint on the brush. No, like that. Anywhere else? Yes. Across here. My head just hit the camera. And here. Which also goes down. Chest area. The the down here and there. Um, so I've not decided what colour to do the the rope. Oh, I'll find a colour. Hey, that's one. So same on this. I got my hand in the way. So down there like this. And that. Something like that. 
<clears throat> Always off camera. Okay. Right, I'm going to carry on. And I'll get back to you a bit. Come to the end of the blocking. The things. And um, let's get some. Look like that at the moment. So now I've got to highlight the whole thing. So I've got a dry brush by Artist Looks. Um, they're very good, and I want to do some highlights, just with some data. So, this is what we're going to do. Shake it first would be good. It's better. to the kitchen roll and we are going to go down on everything very gently In absolutely everywhere you can. Everywhere you do it, tap it, scrape it, rub it, as long as it picks up on the the high spots, skin, we so close. Good enough. So I've got to move on there. Um, Now that we've dry brushed these, dry brush the hell out of these, um, give a bit of dramatic effect probably. Um, you may think this is like too much, but <clears throat> I'm going to use. 
from Agrax Ocean. Okay. Um, and give them a, a good livery wash. Um, let's take a good big brush and just go over the whole the whole model like this. Um, and my Agrax is. 50-50 with water because the it would just be too strong for these type of models if it was neat and if you think that it's not enough just put another layer on And um, set this to one side and uh, let it dry for the next hour or so. And carry on. We've got 30 of these. that we used to have for the flesh has now turned into a nice toned down flesh colour rather than a bright pink squid kind of colour. Okay, there you go. I'm going to carry on. I'm going to get back to you. Okay, so we're about 40, 45 minutes into the wash drying and these have come out absolutely fantastic. Okay, so we're about 40, 45 minutes into the wash drying and these have come out absolutely fantastic. These little guys finished, apart from um, the side patches, arm patches. They've been soaking for a little while, but they've just come apart. But there we go. Uh, they are. They are this small. There you go. They are so tiny, and they go on. Just try and roll with your paintbrush off, uh, and then now the now. So I've done five. So I've got twenty-five to go. And it's on to the next bit.
Okay, final segment of this video. Um, we finished all of the features that look like this. And we are doing a photo shoot. And we're going to be putting these up for sale on eBay. Um, let's see how it goes. Cheers, guys. Thanks for watching. Um, more to come. See you later.